In our last episode of our trailer maintenance series, we showed you how to change the tire on a single wheel application trailer. Today, we're gonna tackle doing a dual wheel setup for you. Hi, I'm Kiefer, and this is All About Trailers. Whether your tire was underinflated, had some physical damage from the road, or was so worn out it just blew, it's a tire failure and needs to be addressed immediately. We're gonna need a few tools. A floor jack, a lug wrench, a torque wrench, a socket, and the almighty debatable extension. If you're on the side of the road, please make sure you are safe while changing the tire and that you're not in the way of traffic. Move over as far as you can, but stay on a flat, hard surface. Now, getting started, you may be overwhelmed if you've never done this before by having a dual tire setup. Take a breath. Let's look at this. We have two tires on the same studs, same lugs, same torquing, same tightening pattern as a single wheel application. Only thing is, you butt the two tires up together. While the trailer is on the ground, break the lugs loose on your failed tire. We're not taking them off yet, but we need to get them loose before we can raise the trailer's tire off the ground. The reason being is that once the tire is off the ground, it's very hard to break the nuts loose as the tire wants to spin. If you have a dual wheel setup, place the jack on the equalizer between the two axles. Once we have the jack in place in a safe position, we want to raise the trailer up so we have enough clearance to put the spare tire on. With the trailer raised up, we can finish taking the lugs off and then the fail tire as well. Keep in mind that you don't want to rest or drop the tire onto the oil bath cap. You can damage it or break it and then you have to replace that as well as the tire. Whether you're transporting cargo, dumping loads, hauling cars, moving earth, or hauling just about anything at all, Texas Pride Trailers is behind you all the way. On the dual wheel setups like these, you want to line up the tire stems opposite of each other so you can air up and check the pressure on each tire. With that said, we can start putting the lugs on and getting them as snug as we can. After this, we can let the jack down slowly and then start tightening the lugs. In our owner's manual, we find that for this specific axle we're working with today needs 150 to 170 foot-pounds of torque. And since this is an eight stud axle, this is our pattern. So we make sure we keep tightening these in a specific order until the torque wrench clicks. That click lets us know that we've achieved the proper torque on these lugs. After we follow through with our pattern and tighten all the lugs until they click, we can pick up our tools and get back on the road. It's a pretty simple process to take care of. Just take your time and do it correctly. If you like this video and want to see more trailer maintenance videos on this channel, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and as always, feel free to smash that subscribe button. It lets us know we're doing a good job, and we'll see you in the next one.